just call me doc so well-bred uh the two horse is a nice option in here too with adam Murner as the two-year-olds begin to move up in behind the metro home building center starting gate it's post time for race two a b division here behind the gate back over to track announcer vance cameron Kurt, I don't think I've ever seen it. Just four of them at Summerside in a Sire Stakes, especially for two-year-old Cole Pacers. Rank contender, proud of you today. How my charmer, Magical Lucas, top of the stretch. Here they come. There they go, off and pacing, and a beauty start for the foursome. Proud of you today is the first one to the turn on the rail rank contender. Then three high, that's how my charmer, and away wide, that is Magical Lucas on by the eighth pole. And they race to the back stretch. Here comes how my charmer on the outside to take over the lead. Second is proud of you today. Magical Lucas is now third, then the trailer. That is rank contender. The road to the opening quarter. Dowling has Halmack Charmer. Quarter pole leading on this night. Proud of you today is second. Then Magical Lucas and rank contender. 30. And a one-fifth once a quarter. They move around the paddock turn. This compact field of four. On by the three-eighths pole. And it's Halmack Charmer the leader. Proud of you today is in the two-hole. Magical Lucas watches it all third. And with them fourth. That is rank contender. They're halfway home in the second. Led by Halmack, Charmer, and Dowling. Second proud of you today. Magical Lucas continues third. Rank contender fourth. The half mile in 101. And a one fifth. Midway into the turn. Going to the 5 8. Opening it up now. Clear by two and a half. That is Halmack, Charmer. Proud of you today is second. Magical Lucas has some work to do here. The heavy favorite on the outside third. Back into fourth. Rank contender. The three quarters next. Out in front by a full five lengths. That is Hal Mac Charmer. Second is Magical Lucas. Proud of you today. Third. Rank contender. Four. Three quarters in 130. And four. They went 29 and three in the third. Eighth of a mile left to go. Might have built up an insurmountable lead here. That's Hal Mac Charmer turning home. Magical Lucas on the outside. Proud of you today towards the rail. But but it is all Hal Mack Charmer and Dowling. They'll upset them in the sire stakes. Proud of you today, Hell Second. That heavy favorite, Magical Lucas, will have to settle for the show prize. Two minutes, two fifths. Here comes the slow-mo replay from the evening second race. Atlantic Sire Stakes, two-year-old Colts in the B division. Kurt, Hal Mack, Charmer, right down the road tonight. Yeah, he looked really good here tonight. A brother to R.E. Shabla, stakes champion here in the Maritimes. This guy off to a great start here as he goes right down the highway. Gets it done, 30 and 1, 101 and 1, 130 and 4, 2 minutes, 2 fifths. A nice Debut on the Son of Malicious, and he looked good here in Atlantic Sire Stakes B Division action as he gets it done by open lengths over the two. Proud of you today, and the four magical Lucas gets the show dough in here. But it is the three How Mac Charmer and Dowling to win race two here in Summerside, and they'll be back in the Woodmere Standard Reds Winter Circle in just a moment.
conditioner Earl Watts had a little bit of a sleeper in our first division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes by the name of Hal Mack Charmer, and he's going to the winner's circle, the Woodmere Standard Bread's winner's circle, Bay facing Gelding 2. He's by Malicious off the Apache's famed dam, Jojo Shabla. Owned by Windermere Farms, Roger Burns, Hollis Newson, and Clyde Balderson. The colt bred by Hamac Farms Limited, trained by Earl Watts, driven to victory by David Dowling, and he was impressive in his debut, pacing to a maiden record of two minutes and two fives. Hamac Charmer in a division of the Atlantic Sire Stakes. <laughs> 